most people have laboratory equipment and they test them. I just, I just eat them. They taste good to me. That's when we pick them. <laughs> the flavor of citrus is actually tied up with aromas. The basic sugar and acid gives it a sweet, sour flavor. But the secondary sort of fragrances and flavors that come through in these navels, it's special. Everybody that bites into one of these navels says it's the best. So as long as we don't get a freeze, life is good in Citra. We're at the Orange Shop. Now we're the last bastion of family roadside fruit business in North Florida area. The Orange Shop began its life as a personal residence, and they would put the fruit on the porch because it kept it out of the sun. This is still where we sell the fruit. 78 years, same porch, same business plan. We haven't changed a thing and probably won't. <laughs> you all have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, thank you all. We've had customers from all over the world, as far away as Australia and Japan. Actually, one day I waited on a customer who turned out to be my daughter's boss in Virginia. It <laughs> Something for everybody. This is the Orange Blossom Honey, Citra, Florida, Orange Shop. Citra was the center of the citrus industry in Florida in the 1800s. That's why it's called Citra. The edge of climate acceptability is the place where the fruit quality is always the best. As far north as we are, the downside to that is you can have a freeze and you can lose your grove. Most growers have elected to move south, but in terms of a true roadside fruit stand with a grove, with its own packing house, we're the last ones left. The last of the generations of the family that started the orange shop really could no longer run it. Pete's a third generation citrus grower and we were only the second family to help carry on this heritage of this store that had been in operation since 1936. In the mid-30s, people started getting cars and there began to be traffic on 301, which is a dirt road at the time. And that's when the light bulb went off as, hey, we need to be selling people oranges. Our grandmother brought home to us when we were kids that came in an orange ball. Yeah. But well, that's what she brings home as kids, and this is the first time that I've stopped here with yeah. my kids. Oh, yeah. Lots of people come back to the store who have visited the store as children with their grandparents, and now they're coming to the store as grandparents themselves, bringing their grandchildren. It's a wonderful feeling to feel like you're a part of something and uh, you're helping carry it on. This is kind of what the natural landscape looked like. Of course, all this stuff, all this used to be growth. This, this all, everything we're driving through used to be solid citrus in 1880, 1890. A lot of the old families that were committed to this place just basically ran out of steam. You know, they, they had been, they tried so hard for so long and, and been wiped out so many times that uh, they just chose not to keep going with it. In the fall of 2009, this grove was completely populated by 20-year-old full-size trees. We were producing, you know, three or 4,000 boxes of fruit every year, which is extremely valuable to us. 
because it was all that good Citra Naval. I mean, it was the best of the best. I mean, that took me 20 years to get the trees to that point. It was emotionally very disheartening to drive up and see all these dead trees, these 20 year old trees that had been bearing this wonderful fruit. Um, but we replanted. And now you have this beautiful, optimistic, young grove. Um, and we've had to protect them from freezes. And, and, you know, with the good Lord's help, it's worked out. If I had to say one word as to why we take the risk of being here, it would be best. The fruit that we grow here is the best. And that's what we are, that's who we are. I started driving tractors in our grove in Davie when I was seven years old. It is intertwined with my life. It's intertwined with who I am and what I do. The Orange Shop goes beyond what Florida is today. It goes back to what Florida used to be 100 years ago, 150 years ago. And that's the connection we have. It's uh, connecting people up with that history and that legacy.